Many of you are having problems today with your EasyBib. And so I'm going to walk you through and show you for two different websites what you need to do exactly in order to use EasyBib to cite your sources. Follow me. I'm going to go and click on the Egypt link first. I'm going to scroll down to this white bar and copy and paste that link. And I'm going to do that by right clicking it and copying. Once I've done that, I'm going to go over to EasyBib. I'm going to enter my website address and click Cite This. All right, now we need to get the pop up ad to go away. The title of this would be the British Museum, Ancient Egypt, because that's what it says on the page. So I'm going to flip back over and see if I can find a publisher. If you look down at the very bottom, it says that it was published by the trustees of the British Museum. So I'm going back over to EasyBib and I want to type that in for publisher sponsor. The Trustees of the British Museum. For the date it was electronically published, if I go back and look, it says 1999. All right, did not have an author, so we leave it blank. Don't worry about it. And now I'm going to click Create Citation. And you wait. There's your citation for your first website. So now what we're going to do is we are going to go and do a second website so you can see how you can print this when we're finished. All right, as you can see, I'm back in the live binder now and I'm on the Egypt for Kids link. So once again, I'm going to highlight that web address, right click it, X out of the pop-up ad, try right clicking it again, click copy, go back over to EasyBib, and click paste. I'm going to click cite this. So now we need to see what we can add to it. All right, let's see if we can find the publisher sponsor on that website. So I'm going to go back to the website. And I'm going to see if I can find a publisher or a sponsor. Dr. Karen Carr has the copyright. So that tells me that she is the publisher and sponsor. She's also the author. Now we need to figure out when this was electronically published. So go back. At the bottom it says it was last updated September 30th, 2011. I'm going to add that. Click on the day, 30 September 2011. Good. So now we're ready to cite this one. So I'm going to click on that create citation again. You can see here that we have the two stupid things. Okay, ignore the pop-ups. You can see here that we have our two links. So right now what you can do is you can save it for later by logging on here. You can copy and paste it. All right, and so that shows it right there. And then you can copy and paste it into a Word document. Or you can go back and export it and print it as a Microsoft Word document. Hope that helps.